Hello, how are we all? I hope we are managing to be away in our caravans as we are now allowed out and uh, hopefully enjoying some decent and well-earned time in the caravan and the motorhome. So for us, we are getting ready to be going away in a few days, hopefully, and we wanted to think about how we load the caravan. Now, this isn't a video showing you how to load your caravan. Uh, this is us rethinking the way that we do it in order to be more efficient when we get onto site. Before I do that, there's a new channel out there uh, that uh, I've started to watch and I'm really enjoying watching. It's called The Caravan Addies. Um, rather than me tell you about them, here's Deb and Tony from The Caravan Addies to tell you all about their channel. Hi, welcome to The Caravan Addies. Uh, I am Tony. I'm Deb. We want to thank first Martin for giving us this opportunity. Basically, our channel is about our weekends away, cooking on the Kadak, little gadgets we buy. Yeah, uh, going on, showing you some sites we go on. Uh, we go sometimes with our family and a friend of ours. Um, so that's all it's about, really. Um, bickering. Bickering, yeah. <laughs> What's bickering mean? It's falling out. All it's right. basically just a down to work channel. We're hopefully you'll enjoy. Yeah, we're just normal people. We we don't stage nothing. We live up north. We're from Wigan. Um, so thank you, Martin, for giving us this chance. Hopefully, click subscribe and like our channel. So go on, give them a sub. I put a link up to the channel up here. Uh, they're they're really funny. I do really enjoy watching them. So uh, yeah, look out for them. They got some good videos coming up. So loading of the caravan. Now, uh, as you all know, you are supposed to put inside your caravan heavy things low down and near to the axle and then work your way up uh, to lighter things further out from the axle and further higher up in the caravan. I'll put a bit of a diagram up here that will show you just a general idea how that's supposed to be loaded. Now, the way that we load the caravan is uh, I'm very conscious, and I have mentioned this lots of times before, that um, this caravan is is very heavy at the front of the caravan. I'm quite mindful of getting the nose weight spot on. We tow at 95 kilograms on the on the nose and our car has a limit of 105 kilograms on the nose, which is, is, which is great. 95 it just seems to tow nice and nice and well. It sits well and it corners well. So in the car, we have our awning, which is a Van Gogh Calari 420 air awning. Uh, that is quite heavy. It's about 35 kilograms. We fold one of the seats down behind me and the driver and the, the awning sits behind there. Also in the back of the car, we tend to put all the toiletries that can be quite heavy, some bits of food, and also we put uh, some clothes, uh, any beer, we need beer, and um, any other items that we have, such as my camera gear and everything goes in there. In the caravan under the bed, we store our what's called our awning bag, which has all our pegs in it, the ground sheet, uh, and all paraphernalia related to the awning. Uh, and we have the chairs and we have two units that we put in the, uh, in the awning. Now, uh, quite a while ago, I did a video where I weighed absolutely everything in the caravan because I was conscious of, of the weights because the, 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 when we changed our caravan, there was a reduced uh, kind of payload that we had. Um, so I made sure I weighed absolutely everything to make sure we were on the limit. And to be fair, this caravan uh, all up is 15.65 and I, and I don't think we're that far off that, to be fair. Now, when we were getting on site, what, what we were looking at and what we were kind of noticing is that we were taking things out of the caravan to put outside and then we were taking things out of the car to put inside. So we we're kind of crossing each other. And it, it seems kind of pointless and, and a lot of effort and a lot of time wasting because at the end of the day, we want to get set up and we want to start enjoying our holiday. So what we're trying to do is rethink. Now, I know a lot of people do put all their awning stuff within their, within their car. And, and that's, you know, that's the way to go. Also to think about is I had a conversation and I remember talking to uh, Rich from Legs Down and he was saying that he only takes with him on a journey what he needs so if there's something in the caravan that he doesn't need he won't take it now that is really a really good idea and it got me thinking about what we take so that's what also what we're going to be doing we're going to start reducing what we take in terms of do we need it no then we're not going to take it the things that i'm going to be taking out of the caravan probably weigh in a region of about 40 kilograms the stuff that we're going to be putting back in from the car that we normally put in the car is actually lighter than that so in terms of weight, we should be okay and balanced out right. 
but it's in i think the main thing is for us is to make it more efficient in the fact that when we get on site we're doing a lot of this to in and fro in angela's coming out of the caravan with stuff and i'm coming in with caravan with stuff and it's just not efficient it's not a best use of our time as like i said before <laughs> you want to be on holiday you want to make sure that everything's okay and you want to get out there and get a beer on so let's have a look at what we've got under our bed and how we're going to change it so at the moment under the bed these are the uh, form inserts for the awning this is the awning bag which was i was talking about um which we're going to take that out and put that in the car um molly scooter which we don't need on the next trip so we can take that out and leave that there the spare wheel which if you remember i took that out from underneath the caravan and that's stored there and we have two units at the back that we're using the awning now on our next trip we only need one of those units so we're going to take one of those out at the back there i've got a spare carpet for uh, the smaller porch awning i don't need that so i'm going to take that out i've also got some wind brakes down here i very much don't i'm going to need them when we go away so i'm going to take those out as well so under the bed now looks a little bit more organized yes i've still got the chairs here which we are going to have to take out but um, they won't fit in the car with everything else that we need to put in the car and they just fit nice and you know bonnie in there then no problem the spare wheel and there's the clothes hanger there and then the uh, inserts for the awning at the back here and then i've decided to keep the two uh, units in there i will take one of them out and put it in the car um because we don't need it but i'm just keeping them in there for now and then there's a draft stopper inside the car we have the awning bag that's in the boot and the uh, the awning that sits behind the driver's seat there so that's a few things changed around uh, like i said before it's not an instructional video of how to load your van this is a uh, kind of looking at being more efficient when we get onto site in order of, of us moving stuff around in the van uh, because it was getting a bit of a nightmare keep passing each other going on going in one going out when stuff needed to be everywhere so quite happy now that i've got all the stuff i need for outside outside of the caravan apart from the chairs and all the stuff that we need in the caravan can now come in the caravan one thing i need to learn to do um i'm guilty of this is i need to stop bringing as many clothes um <laughs> it's always me uh we, we went away um, towards the end of last year and we decided that we were only going to take one bag for all of us and we did that and we didn't take a great deal of stuff and we were fine so i think that's another thing i need to look at is reducing the amount of clothes that, that we take with us although we are this year in on holiday in the uk for most of our holidays hopefully and i think you kind of need to be prepared for every weather condition um, so that's probably an increase in the actual load or weight of the clothes that you bring with you. I just want to say thanks over the last month or so. There have been loads of new subscribers to the channel and the views have gone up. And I, and I really can't thank you enough for that. Um, you know, all the support is absolutely fantastic. All the comments, uh, you know, I read all the comments and I answer all the comments. So I really do thank you for your support. It is really appreciated. So thanks for watching. Take care. Uh, safe journeys. Hopefully we're going to have a decent summer and not go back into lockdown.